So, Trevor, let's start off with Prague, uh, that horrific shooting uh, which has rocked the city, uh, its worst ever mass shooting, hardly surprising, uh, considering that this guy, David uh, Kozak, 24 years old, killed 14 people, injured 25 on a rampage through the university. Uh, some dramatic pictures coming out of that, particularly of the students, oh. all uh, who climbed out of the building and crouched on a ledge uh, precariously outside uh, to avoid this killing spree. Uh, and and uh, we're learning more about this guy. Uh, it looks as if he shot his own father, but we're, now we're hearing uh, he also randomly, the police think, uh, shot dead a man and his newborn baby. How awful. There's that picture of the students crouching there. Uh, they're desperately looking for a, a uh, motive uh, and they just don't know. And he had a massive arsenal of weapons and ammunition with him. Uh, and uh, the police, of course, stormed the building in the end and uh, thankfully shot him dead. But uh, very mysterious. It is. And, uh, you know, whenever I appear on this show, it seems to me we have a story of, and we're asking what on earth goes through people's minds mm. to make them do this sort of thing. And yet, you know, this is the most appalling atrocity, worst in Czech history, I think, and probably one of the worst in the world. Mm. <clears throat> and yet it will simply disappear down the line of others as more follow its example. And we will see this is not the end. This is just a continuation of atrocities. Um, it's impossible to explain what might make a 24-year-old take a machine gun out and simply indiscriminately kill, as you say, a father and his two-month-old baby, his own father, and then um, either kill or mortally wound um, a couple of dozen others. Um, young people, I mean, people who, like himself, were starting off in life. It's all beyond any sort of belief, isn't it? And people have been looking through his social media and what he'd been posting in the days and weeks before yesterday and seem to uh, be suggesting now that he was influenced by a, a similar horrific shooting uh, in Russia where a schoolgirl uh, went out on a, on a shooting spree. And he seems to have posted things like, you know, I want to do something similar, um, you know, I want to be seen as a maniac. And... It's very difficult to know if people are being influenced in that sort of copycat uh, type way, what, what on earth you can do about that, that. And particularly when conversations are going on on some quite strange platforms, sometimes on the dark web and so on. Yes, I mean, it takes us back to yesterday's discussion on the murder of a little Brianna. Um, what does go through their minds? Where do they pick it up? They see it on the dark web or on the exactly. uh, social media. And um, you, um, what we've got now, if you read the papers every day, about half a dozen stories each day about stabbings, usually mm -hmm. fatal stabbings. And we've now got in uh, Liverpool a stab cupboard where you can go along if there's been a stabbing, ring 999, open this thing which is like a defibrillator and get out things to plug wounds with and put tourniquets on with. These are the emergency supplies now which will be standard around the, the country because stabbings are now ten a penny, shootings wherever people can get hold of guns are random and frequent. And I have no idea how on earth the authorities are going to solve that. And let's not uh, forget, <coughs> it's basically the American way. I think America's gift to the world, if you like, is... Uh, these Spreading weird uh, sort of killing uh, massacres. Uh, and actually, perhaps one thing, just before we move on from the, the Prague story, to <coughs> mention is my belief is that Prague, or uh, well, the Czech Republic, has quite lax gun laws. So, as yeah, Kevin's mentioned, like America. <laughs> mentioning America, exactly. Yeah. So you could imagine that this might be a stepping stone towards them tightening up those laws. Well, we've got, uh, we've got pretty tight laws now after Dunblane, yeah. but they still have... Yeah. Uh, Machine gun killings and gang murders and yeah. so on. Yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah. If, if people want to get a gun... Stop and search is the answer, yeah. and very much more of it. Yeah, but if people uh, want to get a gun, they'll get a gun. Uh